having a calm, clean and organized home is something that many of us can appreciate. It helps keep life simple so that we can put our minds to the things that matter instead of feeling constantly overwhelmed by our space. But keeping things clean and tidy isn't usually number one on our list of priorities. So I've learned that the secret isn't in striving for perfection, but instead it's about simplifying and implementing small everyday habits and systems that require minimal effort and produce maximum results when it comes to maintaining our home. Whilst every home is very different with certain factors that can add a whole other dimension to things, today I'd like to share 10 minimalist cleaning habits that we have found super helpful in keeping our home clean, tidy and functioning at its best. Let's start with the most obvious and that is to simply own less. The more items that we have in our home, the more we have to constantly organize and manage on a daily basis. So the first step I found helpful in keeping a tidy home was to simply remove the excess. Decluttering and getting rid of items that we no longer have a need for in our life can help simplify our home and free up both physical and mental space for the things that actually matter. Tip number two is to watch what you bring in. Whilst a great starting point is to declutter any existing items in your home, it's just as important to monitor what you're bringing in on the daily. Even after removing the excess, if we go out and buy a whole bunch of new stuff, we're pretty much back to square one. Being really conscious of how we spend and what we consume has been a real game changer for us. Whenever we shop now, we tend to shop with a lot of intention. We've usually thought through what we're purchasing and always avoid those smaller impulse buys, which not only helps us save a whole lot of money, but it definitely helps keep our home clutter free. Tip number three is to clean as you go. Now this one sounds so simple, but I have definitely fallen prey to the trap of I'll do it later. Something I found helpful is implementing the one minute rule. Basically, if something is going to take you less than one minute to do, do it now. This can be applied to all areas of life and tidying is no different. Keeping those smaller tasks under control means the less we have to worry about later. Tip number four is to develop a daily tidy routine. These are usually small, simple tasks that we like to get through on the daily. My husband and I usually incorporate this into both our morning and evening routines, where we'll set a timer for 10 minutes. And in that time, we'll go around the house and quickly check off a few things like making our bed, putting away the dishes, and making sure that everything is back in its place. This definitely makes a huge difference when it comes to setting up our home for the rest of the day. Tip number five is one of my favorites and it's to give everything a home. Putting things back in their place is made so much easier when you actually know where that particular item is meant to go. Whether it's your shoes, house keys, TV remote, screwdriver, giving everything a home means that when you go to tidy up and put something back in its place, you don't have to think about it too much. And we all know that when it comes to our habits, the more we actually have to think about doing something, the less likely we are to do it. Tip number six is to have a designated donation box. Giving everything a home also means creating a space for those things that need to go. Decluttering is usually a regular thing in our house nowadays, so as we go about our day to day, if we notice anything that we feel we no longer require and it's suitable to donate, we will usually place it in this box that we keep in our bedroom. Every couple of months, we schedule in a time to drop that box off at our local donation center. We've found this system really helpful as it means we're decluttering on the go rather than doing it in bigger chunks on the weekends and nothing gets forgotten when we make that trip to drop off the items. Tip number seven is to go paperless. I don't know about you guys, but paper is one of those things that always seems to add to the clutter in our home. From receipts to manuals and junk mail, no matter how minimal we try to be, somehow bits of paper always find their way into our space. So wherever possible, we've tried to go paperless. Nowadays, a lot of things tend to be online, which is a great help like bank statements, manuals for different household items and such. And for anything that is really important and we'd like to hold on to, we like to store them in one designated area that we sort through every now and then. 
And sometimes we will either take a photo or scan that document and just keep a soft copy instead of the actual physical copy. Tip number eight is to air out your home. You'd be surprised just how much dust, moisture and pollutants can build up inside our homes. So keeping a clean home is just as much about the air quality as it is wiping down all those surfaces. No matter what the weather, opening up a few windows or doors, even if it's just for 5-10 minutes, can really help improve the ventilation, air out all those pollutants and keep our homes a lot healthier. Tip number 9 is to break it down and schedule in those deep cleans. Daily tidy ups are a great way to manage the surface clutter, but it doesn't get rid of the dirt and grime that accumulates. Therefore, deep cleans are unfortunately an unavoidable part of life and it's what we tend to dread the most. To try and make things less daunting, our top cleaning hack has been to break down those bigger tasks and schedule them in on a weekly basis. Having a designated time slot every week where we spend an hour, maybe even two hours, tackling some of those nitty gritty tasks like mopping the floors or cleaning the bathrooms means that we never let things pile up to a point where we have to sacrifice an entire weekend. When we break things down, we also like to group together similar tasks. So one week, the focus might be just the floors where we mop and vacuum. Another week, it might be just the bathrooms or the week after that, it could be wiping down surfaces and countertops and so on. Tip number 10 is to make it fun. Cleaning is one of those things that we can't avoid. At some point or another, it needs to get done. So we might as well have some fun doing it. My personal favorite is usually listening to either a podcast or audiobook while I clean. Whatever you enjoy, whether it's listening to music, calling a friend, watching Netflix while you fold laundry, try and pair it with something you can do hands-free and enjoy so cleaning feels less like a chore. The more enjoyable we make a habit, the more likely we are to stick with it for the long haul. And there you have it. Those are 10 simple tips that have helped us create a more calm, organized and clutter-free home. I hope you enjoyed this video and found a useful tip or two. We never aim for things to be perfect as that's pretty unrealistic given we're actually living in our home, but simplifying and getting a little bit done each day has been our motto. If you have any tidy hacks of your own, be sure to let me know as everyone's homes are completely different. If you did enjoy this video, it would mean a lot if you give it a like and if you'd like to say hello or drop me a message, you can also follow me over on Instagram. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.